the world is ready to take action on climate change. And planting trees is often put forward as a solution. But trees require water. Today we speak with Professor Karen Hussey about the options we have for combating climate change and weighing them up to protect our valuable resources. Karen, in principle, I thought planting trees was a good thing for the environment. Um, can you tell me why you and your colleagues think differently? In principle, the planting trees is good for the environment. There are a whole load of benefits that having more trees in the landscape bring. Um, it's good for salinity, it's good for erosion, it's good for uh, intercepting floods. So there are a whole lot of reasons why many of us think fantastic. Something like the Emissions Reduction Fund or the Carbon Farming Initiative is good for for, for the environment. But, inevitably, there is a complexity to this that we need to understand. So, what do we know about trees? We know that they require water in order to be able to grow. Okay? So, if you have a policy of planting an awful lot of trees, whether these are plantation forests or environmental forests, we know that those trees are going to require water to grow. In a country like Australia, where we have twin challenges. We've got to address climate change, but we've also got to recognise that water is a scarce resource. We've got to, got to be really careful about where we actually plant those thousands and thousands of trees because of the potential impact on our water supply base. Well, that's really interesting because I didn't really think about water when we were think, uh, thinking about responding to carbon uh, and fixing carbon in the atmosphere. What are some of the other things that we can do besides plant trees? There's a whole range of instruments um, and activities and strategies that governments can pursue. Mm -hmm. So the ones that we're most familiar with are moving away from fossil fuels to renewable energies. Right. Um, and we've already seen in this country the largest penetration of PV solar panels at the residential scale anywhere in the world. So Australians really love putting panels on their roofs and that's, that's brilliant because obviously it's a, a key tool to mitigating climate change. But there's over 70 different ways that we can improve um, our greenhouse gas emissions. Things like um, the low cost co-benefit stuff like uh, better insulation in our houses, um, uh, retrofitting our houses so that we have LED lights. Um, making sure that in our power plants, even if they are using a fossil fuel, that we have the best technology possible um, to be able to run them as efficiently as possible. So that even if you are using a fossil fuel, you're using it efficiently. Tell me, there, there was a big uh, meeting in Paris about climate change. Um, can, you, can you tell us what that was all about and uh, what was agreed? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I think you'd have to have been living under a rock if you hadn't heard about COP21 in Paris. Um, so that took place at the end of November and early December last year and it was, uh, it's called COP21 because it was the 21st uh, meeting of the Conference of the Parties. So this is your classic intergovernmental enormous um, uh, sort of meeting and there have been years of these meetings over the last 15 years to try to develop an international consensus to address climate change. Everybody had pinned their hopes on the last big meeting in Copenhagen delivering international consensus. Uh, what do I mean by international consensus? The idea that uh, all countries, but particularly the major emitters, agreeing that we need to act collectively to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So what happened in Paris was, for the first time, we had that international consensus. So we have international consensus to take action. Uh, but in Australia, are we, so are we doing enough? I heard that per capita, uh, we're pretty bad when it comes to emissions. Um, look, in many respects, uh, we are about where we ought to be right now. Okay? Um, what we went to, with, to, to Paris with was a commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 26 to 28% by 2030. Uh, that's not leading the pack but nor is it at the end of the pack and, and of course when that figure was announced we had the Prime Minister say more or less those words. We could certainly do more and we will need to do more. Thank you very much Karen for uh, sharing your insights.
Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me.